you all know me for growing potatoes and um, I've been doing a few trials this year on these potatoes and in this episode I'm going to tell you why I'm going to predict that I'm going to have a rubbish yield this year with my potatoes. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplify Gardening. Now I understand I haven't even harvested a bucket of these yet but yet I just believe that I haven't um, got what's necessary and the reason for that is twofold and firstly I've been trialing peat free composts as a medium for most of these potatoes and I have to say I'm really disappointed now I know we should all be moving towards peat free uh, especially in the UK we have no choice in the matter they are banning it but here uh, this goes to show exactly what's going on and if I walk up here you're going to see that the foliage is really really tall I mean I'm now in between some foliage and you can hardly see me this foliage is probably about five feet now I understand that we have the height of the bucket to take into account as well but what's happening here well most of this peat free stuff these companies are really struggling with finding bulking ingredients and I believe that they are throwing in loads of green waste into this which is really high in nitrogen and it's not being balanced and the problem you have here is the nitrogen is taken over and that's going to create an issue for your potatoes growing because it's putting out top growth I believe at the cost of tuber formation so this is one of the reasons that I believe that um, that I'm gonna end up with a poor harvest the second reason that I think we'll end up with a poor harvest is because of all this top growth it's draining huge amounts of water out of the bucket now with that peat free compost it's not absorbing that water it's just running right through it and they are struggling to get enough moisture just to keep the top growth alive never mind producing tubers as well the uh, old style composts are really good at absorbing water Whereas with this, I can put water in the top of it, even when it's hydrated, and it's just passing straight through the bottom. Now, the new containers, they have more holes to allow drainage. But with peat-free compost, I think that's going to cause a bit more of an issue. But it wouldn't make a difference if you only had one or two holes, that would still come out. So I still believe that these new containers are the best uh, style of container. So that's not the issue here. The issue is the peat-free compost. Now, we can look at these and we can say, well, they're still standing. As you can see, the support structure has done an amazing job at keeping all this foliage upright. As you can see, it's still here. Everything is still upright. And we're having storm after storm here. Like, and I know it's really sunny at the moment, but literally, 10 minutes ago I was sheltering in my shed because we had a massive downpour everything is soaking here great to water them but it normally bashes the tops down and I'm seeing photos from people all over Facebook that are now growing in these containers and their foliage is flat to the ground you can see how well these support systems have worked they've kept the whole unit together I'll be really surprised if I get a really good harvest out of these because of how tall they are. You can see, you know, they're like triffids and that's really worrying for me. And a lot of you will uh, have addressed that I didn't put huge amounts of feed in these this year. Normally I put in the blood fish and bone and then I put in like a pelleted chicken, uh, sorry, a pelleted potato feed. And I didn't put that pelleted potato feed in because I had an idea that this compost was going to be way too rich. And I think I was right. If I had put that potato feed in here as well, I think we'd have been in some serious trouble. As it happens, I don't think we're going to end up with a good uh, crop, but I'm going to keep you posted on that. So what am I going to do moving forward? Four or five years ago, I built these composting bays as you can see they're all pretty much full 
we've got some this one here and this one where they are relatively new mixes and you will see lots of greens in them and the temperature on this particular one is running at 67 degrees it's hot in there but these three here have all been filled up they've shrunk down they've been refilled shrunk down so we're going to end up with about five tons of compost when everything is all said and done there so my plan moving forward so some of you will have seen on facebook i've just built another four bays here so that's nine ton in total i've just got the fronts left to put on these and you can see they're nice and sturdy we can fill them up and they'll act exactly the same as the other five so what this has done is twofold for me it's going to shield the garden a little bit with wind it's going to stop people just wandering on and off and i'm going to get another four ton of compost at the end of this year that's going to enable me to ensure that i'm not going to have to buy bagged compost to grow potatoes in the containers and um, although I didn't need to before um, this year I wanted to put the compost out onto the ground this way I'm going to be able to do both and I'm not going to have to worry about buying in bagged compost I'm not a lover of peat free but I do understand it's a way we have to go um, peat free will probably change over the years you know as manufacturers they find ways of dealing with the product that they have and find the ingredients that they need then that's going to get better and better but for me when i'm growing in potatoes and containers as of next year it will all be my homemade compost this is why i think it'll be good for the potatoes now this compost is probably about two months old it's nowhere near finished breaking down but look at the worms on that already and this is only a couple of months old but we're already getting there and this is going to be fantastic for um for basically putting in the containers it's not going to be too rich i can feed it if i need to and uh, we can go from here but as you can see just on the top here the worms are absolutely loving it so going forward most of the compost is going to be my own and i will continue to do experiments with peat free and some others and finding alternative ingredients that we can use in our potatoes so going on um you know i'm going to be able to uh, use this compost in my potato buckets and prevent that now i will be really shocked if i do get a good yield this year um, but i'm giving you this sort of video now so that you understand when i pull those potatoes if i have a bad yield you understand my reasonings and you know that i knew about it beforehand i think that we have to adapt the way we're growing and with the invent of peat free and uh, until all these organizations actually stand up and fix the issues that peat free has then um, I think people are going to be worried you know I mean they're just pumping tons and tons of green waste into it my biggest issue with that is you don't know where that green waste has come from and it, it could be containing all sorts of broadleaf systemic um, pesticides and uh, herb you know herbicides and things like that so um, by producing it all here I could do that now not everybody's going to produce on the level I am but um, you should be able to do that now for those who want to do this my new book composting masterclass came out uh, last month and you can get that online just have a look just type in composting masterclass you'll be able to find it i'm still having issues with amazon they um they they threw the book back into review the night before it went live and eight weeks later it's still not available um it is available via ebook a few people have been having some issues with the ebook version and that's again down to the issues that amazon are having but if you get the ebook on other platforms then everything is fine uh this also available on audiobook via um kindle and uh, sorry um 
Audible and all these other places as well. But just search the internet, you'll be able to find other places other than Amazon. But I just want to make you all aware that um, when we're growing potatoes, because I've had a load of comments about my potatoes, people say, oh, look how fantastic your potatoes look. And yeah, they do look really good when they're all up nice and high and everything else. But that isn't good for potato growth. There's too much nitrogen there. It's giving all that top growth. And I don't think there'll be any tuber formation. If there is, I'm going to be very surprised. Um, and like I said, it's been an absolute nightmare to keep that peat free hydrated. Whereas this stuff, I mean, you can see it's just look at that it just boils it's moist it absorbs water this is uh why i'm going to be doing this from now on i'm still going to be doing the trials like i said anyway guys i just wanted to give you a heads up on what i believe is happening a bit of a prediction if you like uh, with those potatoes and uh, show you the new composting bays that I've just built I've just got to finish the fronts now and then I'm going to be making some repairs to these once I empty them this year um, I want to recover these this stuff has been on you now four or five years and it's starting just to break down a little bit um, so I'll recover that it's really cheap stuff and we'll recycle this stuff and then um, I want to make some new fronts as well the timbers I used in there are a little bit thin and they're now starting to bow and warp um, but again you know I can just continue using the other bays when I empty these and we'll be away and it, it give me that day just to sort of get these back up to ship shape ready for next year anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have smash that thumbs up for me guys on your way out and if you want to see just how good quality this compost is watch this video it's where i pulled out 71 pounds of potatoes out of a single bay by accident and in fact i think it was that bay there so that was totally by accident so go and view that video i'm tony o'neill this is simplified gardening where i show you how to garden in a simpler way remember folks you reap what you sow and i'll see you in the next one bye bye